Welcome to 365 Christian Men, where every day we aim to inspire and encourage with real life stories about men. February 28th, David Wilkerson. Wilkerson was the founding pastor of the non denominational Times Square Church in New York City and the founder of the addiction recovery program, Teen Challenge. He started as a Pentecostal preacher in rural Pennsylvania. On this date, in 1958, Wilkerson drove eight hours to preach God's love to members of a New York gang. Soon, he moved to New York City to minister to the gangs. In 1962, Wilkerson published The Cross and the Switchblade, which made him famous, especially after its movie version came out eight years later. But when Wilkerson published his new book, Vision, which warned that because of America's rebellion against God, we were headed toward major judgments and ultimate destruction. He immediately fell out of favor. Wilkerson became a pariah overnight. His books were removed from the church bookstores, and he was personally condemned as a fearmonger. Wilkerson had written, The world is about to witness the beginnings of great sorrows brought about by history's most drastic weather changes, earthquakes, floods, terrible calamities. And it's not really a depression I see coming, but a recession of such magnitude that it will affect lifestyle of nearly every wage earner in America and around the world. Some of the nation's major corporations will declare bankruptcy. Fear generated by the economy will lead to a revolution at the polls, and the auto industry is going to be hurt badly. No amount of shunning could keep Wilkerson quiet. He kept telling the truth in love until he died in 2011. Today's story focuses on his early years in New York City. Nothing can stand against a man fueled by God's love. With the newspaper spread out in front of him, small-town preacher David Wilkerson sat praying. The article in front of him was about the Mau Maus, a New York City gang who had declared war on the police department. Gang members hid on rooftops and dropped sandbags on the police. The police fired back with shotguns, and many of the boys died that year. As Wilkerson was reading his paper, he thought about the Apostle Paul and how he said he was the worst of sinners, but even in the midst of his sin, he had found grace. Paul thought of himself as an example of what Jesus could do. He believed that if God could save him, God could save anybody. So, Wilkerson prayed that God would send him to one of the worst gang leaders in New York City. Save him and put your hand on him, and then let him walk the streets with me. That young man would be an example like Paul. And before long, Wilkerson stood on a stage in New York and the Mau Maus were in the auditorium. Wilkerson said that God had the power to change people. He meant the people there in the room. Nikki Cruz jumped up, pointed at Wilkerson, and yelled, you shut up! Don't open your mouth anymore. If you say anything, you're gonna drop dead. This is not the power of God here. This is manpower and this is gang power. And there's no way that God has the power to change anybody. He was standing calmly on stage, Nikki later said about Wilkerson. His head bowed. I knew he was praying. Here was this skinny man, unafraid in the midst of all this danger. Where did he get this power? Why wasn't he afraid like all the rest of us? Well, Nicky was irate. He told his gang the preacher was crazy, and he took them down to a certain basement where he promised them a good time. Fifteen minutes later, without even knocking, Wilkerson opened the door and walked into the basement room, the Brooklyn headquarters of the Mau Maus. He said, where's Nicky? As if he'd known him a long time. Nicky jumped to his feet and yelled at the preacher. He told Wilkerson to stop, pointed his gun at him, and said, if you take another step, I'll blow your head off. Wilkerson hesitated for a moment, Nicky remembered, but he didn't stop. He was a skinny man, but he kept walking straight toward me and said, come on, Nicky, shake my hand. Nicky slapped Wilkerson's face, spat on him, cursed at him, and threatened to kill the young preacher. Then he headed for the door. Before he reached the door, Wilkerson yelled at him, Nikki, just a moment. You could kill me, Nikki. You could cut me in a thousand pieces and lay them out on the street, 
but every piece would cry out, Jesus loves you. Trying to scare David away, Nikki gave him a death stare. Nikki, I'm not scared of you, Wilkerson said. You're just like the rest of us. You're afraid, you're lonely, but Jesus loves you. One day, Nikki, you're going to stop running and you're gonna come running to Jesus. Crying, Wilkerson put his hand on Nikki's head and prayed for him. The first time Nikki had heard anyone pray out loud. Nikki swore he wouldn't cry. He hadn't cried since he was eight, but this man was talking to God about him. Nikki pushed Wilkerson away, but then he saw a vicious gang member on his knees and bawling his head off, asking Jesus to help him. Two more gang members were on their knees and crying. Nikki thought this was crazy. He was so confused. Could it be true that God loved him? After a gut-wrenching struggle, Nikki asked God if it was true. Would God help him? Within minutes, a burden lifted off his shoulders, and he told Wilkerson that he knew that Jesus loved him. God began a great work in Nikki that night. Nikki later surrendered his life to full-time service in ministry. Wilkerson modeled the Word of God found in 1 John 4:18, which says there is no fear in love, but perfect, complete, full-grown love drives out fear. Are there things you fear? What small step toward overcoming that fear can you take today? Nothing can stand against a man fueled by God's love. Thank you for listening to today's story. Every day of the year, our hope is to inspire you with real life stories of faithful men who have gone before us. Hebrews 12.1 says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin that so easily ensnares us. Let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Join us tomorrow for another story at 365christianmen.com.